Hey, what's up, guys? Today I am taking a look at a funnel sequence for Andrea. So she has three different funnels. Looks like two different offers, and one is a bridge funnel um, to you know to bridge clients. Because this funnel here, is, it just tells some info about herself, and it actually bridges them to her calendar so they can schedule something. So when you bridge, when you you bridge from one one. You don't need the second page because they never even see the thank you page. Two, you always want to put your bridge actually built into your thank you page or built, you know, on your thank you page on one of these offers. So that's the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to, we're going to scrap that. So let me just put that to the side. Second, let's take a look. So here's your first offer. Discover what you need to know about looking for a job and getting the offer. So this is why this is a terrible headline. Uh, because you're not specific. You're too general. Like, what kind of job? Why am I going to trust you to help me find a job over anyone else? You know, I don't know who you are. I know you're Mint Green Publishing, which doesn't tell me anything. It just says, let Andrea share her valuable job search diagnostic. But it doesn't tell me, you know... So I think you should niche down because as you can see in your other one, your other offer, you're niching down to um, farmer or biotech. So discover what you need to know about searching for and closing on an exciting new job in farmer or biotech. So see, that's a good headline because you're addressing a need they're searching for and closing on a new job, a new job in what? Farmer or biotech. And then it's like, well, how am I going to do that? Well, you're going to do that with my Prescription for Success Career Acquisition Mastery Program, CAMP, for Pharma and Biotech Celebrants. Perfect. The perfect execution of a headline and sub-headline. So this one is good. This funnel is good. To, like, I would run this funnel. You have a good headline, good sub-headline. Um, you, you highlight your course. The only thing I would do maybe to make it a little bit more personal, because remember, nobody gives a fuck about the product or service. They care about who's delivering the service. So I would put a video underneath this subheadline of you saying, hey guys, it's Andrea. This is blah, blah, blah. This is what I do. This is why you should trust me. Basically, take, take them on like a mini journey of what they're going to get out of joining your camp. And that way they see you, they connect with you, the human. I quit your face, remember, you know, they're going to feel more comfortable with you. It's not going to be just another sales pitch. Or probably, this is going to work for some, you know, especially shiny toy job searchers. You know, those people that are just out there collecting information. But those kind of people are are going to be the, the flakes of people that don't do a whole lot of follow-up. They're just collecting information, emails, trying to see what they can get. I mean, which is... Which is good and bad. It's good in the sense that if you have a solid follow-up sequence, meaning if you email them regularly, keeping them up to date on how you're helping other people in your community find jobs, any other tips, tricks, things like that, especially if you have a public figure page or a blog where you're posting daily, um, providing value, you can take those posts, collate them into an email, and send that out to your list weekly in the form of a newsletter just saying, hey guys, how are you doing with your job search? kind of thing, and then walk them into this funnel to get your camp. So that, that's the only thing I would do to change this funnel. I mean, other than that, it's laid out well. If it were to convert to mobile, the all the elements would stack nicely, and, you know, you get your point across, clean and simple. I love building clean and simple funnels. So, good job there. Um, the only thing you didn't do is, like, there's things like your SEO metadata, so you see where it says JSON two-step order. You go to SEO metadata, and this is this is what people's going to see when you actually see the link. So you come in here, you want to put the title of your page, a description of your page, author, social image, etc., etc. This would be like your logo or a picture of you, even. That way, when you do share the link on Facebook, Instagram, anything, you, you're not going to get this JSON two-step order at the top. It'll be the title that you give it. Um, I also noticed that your tracking code isn't in here, so this is going to be your Facebook pixel. 
uh, you install the Facebook pixel code here, and then the footer, you're going to put the event ID. The event ID would be view content on your your following funnel steps. That's where you would get, uh, you put the other event codes for your pixel. Like this one will be, you generated a lead. This one would be, um, you got a per, this would be generated a lead, and then whatever the purchase is on this. The, doubt, the doubts I would be, they, whatever the purchase was on this. Etc. Uh, Etc. Et Let's see. What do you have for your one-time offer? Wait, this is a one-time offer. You'll never see this page again. I would drop this. You don't need this. Here, that's pretty easy. Obviously, if you've, if you've built this funnel so far, you don't need this. So. Okay, let's get rid of it. How about adding some more one on one time? Let's check out this video. So that, that's a good video, straight to the point. Again, that's something that's going to connect better is if you actually took the time or, or like run this video. I'm not saying don't run this funnel. You always want to just go get it out there, start getting some results. You can always make a better video later. So on the next time around, record a video of yourself sitting on a laptop and explain what they're going to get in your one-on-one -on -one coaching and your group calls and the in the and the course because like on the first the first page is a video of you explaining the core you your course what they're going to get from it etc etc and then on this page it's going to be you thanking them saying hey thanks for buying my course i'm so excited to have you on board excited to teach you x y and z if you want to hit the ground running and you want a little extra one-on-one -on -one time with me there's a one-time offer and then you go into your pitch you know but you want to just identify that need while you're pitching them, saying you want the one-on-one -on -one time so you can hit the ground running or so you can um, line it up with no, no questions so you can have actual steps, you know. However you want to cater it, you just want to make sure you identify that need and solve it when you're pitching them in the video. And add to order. No, I don't need this now. That's good. But people are saying some more testimonials. It's solid. I love that you have testimonials on everything. People love testimonials. Um, let's check out the down cell. Again, I would ditch this. You don't need this shit on the top. Create account, customize order. You don't need that. Sure, you don't want a resume. Again, it's your last chance. I would get rid of this because that really doesn't need you know. um, So, obviously, they're only going to see this if they don't take them one on one time. And you can say, you, you can just put, you know, um, don't don't need the one-on-one -on -one time, how about a resume, and then a sub-headline of a resume is proven to do X, you know, and then let's see the video. The music's terrible. Uh, the video's kind of dry. It's got good information though. But again, like if you want this to really hit the ground running, you—I uh, mean, I see what you did there. Slow music and exciting once they they meet you. But imagine how excited they would be if they just saw you on camera like it. Hey, so you don't need the one-on-one -on -one time, but how about a resume? Have you heard about this about a resume? I'm a corporate recruiter and headhunter, 
and I screen resumes and cover letters and I do all this X, Y, and Z. And this is why you need a resume. Or, or you walk them down that, down that journey of, like, you don't need to update your resume or, or you need a cover letter. They all go into a black hole, you know, and then pitch them on why you know that. Because remember, you're identifying the problem and then you are the solution. So I think a video like that would work a lot better here. So run this and then create the other videos, split test it against these, guarantee your personal videos are going to output more views. So and if they say no thanks, this is such an incredible, and these are, these are generic. Um, I don't know if these are real reviews or not, just because I, I've seen this person on other funnels, and I've seen this dude on other funnels. Um, if they're not real reviews, I get at least have to look. I don't, I'm not a fan of uh, fake reviews. I'm not saying these are, but I'm just saying they're not. They don't relate to the resume building at all. So find some reviews or ask people that you've built or screen resumes for to give you some direct feedback about the resume or something. So you can say, <clears throat> so this person can say, oh man, after having a resume built by Andrea, I was able to land a job in less than 30 days or, you know, something like that. You want, that way people are going to identify the need for a resume through other people. Because if, if they haven't clicked add this to my order and they're still scrolling, they're trying to find another reason to, another reason to buy. So if you do that, you're going to give them another reason to buy. So let's check out the thank you page. And that's excellent. You have your other products popped in here, which is good. I guess the needs to go to your other funnel. Yeah. So this isn't going to work as a link because this this is just this is a down sell. So in order for a down sell to work, they it has to be connected through one security token. So on the order form they get their credit card and all their information and it maintains that connection until you get to the end of the funnel but once you've made it to the thank you page that connection has been closed so if they go here and they click add this to my order it's going to not add anything to the order it's not it might even send them to the thank you page but an, an actual order didn't go through because there's no saved credit card information so if you're going to do this you need to build an actual funnel for your resume writing and just make it a two a simple two two page two step order form funnel where the, literally the first step is them ordering the resume you know you might want to church it up a little bit to explain that why they want a resume in a little bit more detail than you did on your upsell and then just build that funnel where they can just buy it for a hundred bucks and then um let's see is it the same thing here? Yeah, see this is an upsell as well. So again, you're going to want to make that funnel, that specific funnel, just for your personal coaching. No upsells or nothing, just so they can get in there and buy that. <clears throat> and I imagine you know how to do the three payments. This is going to be a Stripe subscription. Let's check this out. So in this, is going. see this is taking you to a lead page of the funnel. So. I mean, they just went through this through this funnel, so I would probably ditch this offer um, because I mean, find, find another offer <clears throat> or put them in your Facebook group or something right there rather than PFS Camp. They just went through the PFS Camp funnel, so you don't want to send them just right back to the same funnel if they because if they got to this thank you page, they at least bought your your camp. They might have not bought your personal coaching and your resume right, but they at least bought your camp. So the camp doesn't need to be on here. But look, stay tuned. I'm guessing that's supposed to be a pop-up that says, you know, opt-in for the book. And then you can do a page integration to make that happen. Um, da -da 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 -da. So yeah, now let me show you how to... Um, Save that thank you page from the hero opt-in. 
So let's go here, you go to the section, click the little save, and we're going to save it as uh, schedule call to action. So this is where they can schedule a call with you. And you want to see there's multiple sections. Rise by lifting others. I'm going to save this as rise. And want to see more great things. And then you can see, hold on back. See this Twitter and YouTube links aren't set, but I see you set them up here, so I'm just going to grab them from up here. Alright, so let's take a look. Set action. YouTube. That action. Alright, let's open a new window. Alright. Cool, so now I can save this. Oh, cancel. Now I can save this. And we put Andrea. So now it can exit out of here. Go to here, go to the thank you page. And at this page, you got them to opt in, so now you're going to give them the call to action to say, hey, you've opted in, you want to talk to me now. And then go ahead and give me a call. Pat it down. It's not quite so big. Alright, let's do the same thing here. Oh, let's get the call to action in this. Alright, so we can ditch this. Um, we ditch this. Job search coach or job search crew. What do you like better? This one looks the other one looks better, so we're going to leave that. Pretty much just your resume. So, 
rather than list all these single items out, what I would do is say I've been fortunate enough to work on several that are dedicated to the bio after learning countless strategies and digging the truth Teachers in a full nuclear ambition have taught online and on ground classes for undergraduate college from the issues of I'm confident that I can help you too. Let's talk, click the link below to get access to my calendar. And then let's do this. So that's how I'd rock that. So I'm going to go ahead and save this. And then let's check out your other funnel. Oh, and another thing, if you go into settings, you can set the titles here so you don't have the generic titles as well. So you can say, I mean, you could say, uh, PFS camp. This is your PFS camp file. See this messy shit? PFS camp special. And once you save it there, you need to update the main page because that's the first page that's going to land on. So let's go to this. And then let's put PFS. I hope that's fucking. I hope it is PFS. If it isn't, I mean, just fix it in your account. Um, or else let's go to the offer wall and add that schedule call to action. Oh no. Alright, so we're gonna have to move this shit into its own section. So let's do this.
That does look good up there. So what I'm going to do is make this a two column row. <clears throat> and then let's add a headline. You can also try, um, want to work with me right away. Um, can't wait, uh, don't want to wait uh, for camp or um, trying to hit the ground running, you know, some kind of headline like that, just basically to get, get them to read this paragraph and click the schedule a call button. Again, I would dump the PFS camp here just because they just went through this funnel, so you know I've got to walk them through the same funnel in here. You could put your your tool here, your job search tool. You can make that the plug that you put in this bottom one. Uh, and then, like I said, see this. Uh, once you copy those over and modify the thank you pages, I will just ditch this one altogether. You don't need this one. So let's go to settings, archive it. You don't need it. Because you're just bridging. So when you're bridging, like I said, just throw it on the thank you page. It's going to link them somewhere outside the funnel. Doesn't matter. Just let them, let them bridge from the thank you. Anyways, that was a review for uh, Andrea. She had a few of these funnels. i um, trying to help her map down the strategy, give her a couple tips on how to re redesign them, add a couple things in there, help them convert. Um, Andrea, put these to the test. Let me know how I did. There's a big marketing for watching. One love.